Hello everyone, today let's learn how to solve proof that questions in trigonometry. So this question has been asked by one of our Enjoy Math viewers. So let's see how to solve. Now the question says prove that sin a plus cos a k the whole square plus cos a plus a k the whole square equals 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. So in proof that questions either we start with the LHS and prove that it's equal to the RHS or we can start with the RHS and prove that it's equal to the LHS. So the very first step is to decide which side to start from. So friends generally we start from that side which is more complicated and which has more number of operators and terms so that uh, there is more scope to simplify right. So which side do you think we should start with? Definitely the LHS because that looks more complex. So let me just copy down the LHS. So here is the LHS. Now the second step is to very carefully observe what we have and what we actually want to prove. So what we have is sin a cos a k under the square, cos a and sec a also under square. But what we have to prove is 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. So there are not many common terms between these two things. So it's very important that we understand what we have to prove because if you don't know what you have to prove how will you be able to prove it right so always take some time to observe both the sides okay now what we can do friends is that somehow if we bring sine square a cos x square a cos square a sec square a at least i can use these identities and uh, have some scope of simplification right now does this term seem very familiar to you? Does it look like a plus b the whole square? Yes. Do you remember the identity? Well, here also. See, this looks like a plus b the whole square. Now, what is this equal to? Yes, a square plus b square plus 2ab. So, let's try to put this identity over here. Let's expand and see what exactly happens. So, my sine a will be a and cos a k will be b. So, when I expand, I'll get sine square a plus cos x square a plus 2 a b right so it will be 2 into sin a into cos a k right okay plus now again cos a plus a k the whole square what is the expansion cos square a plus x square a plus 2 cos a sec right so very carefully substitute friends now again let's see what we want to prove keep checking after every step are you going towards your destination so what we have to prove is 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a so definitely it's an improvement because now i have sine square a cos x square a so at least i can apply these identities which of these identities do you think we can apply Yes, definitely we can apply sin square a plus cos square a equal to 1 because here you have sin square a plus cos square a. So can I write here directly 1? Definitely. Do write the reason friends. Okay. Make sure you write the reason, write the identity which you have used. Okay. So sin square a plus cos square a, I'll get it as 1. Uh, let me just write uh, cos x square a and sec square a as it is for the time being. Okay. Now what about 2 sin a cos a k? Now let's have a look. How are sin a and cos a k linked? Yes, did you see here sin a equal to 1 by cos a k. So if I bring the cos a k to the numerator, sin a into cos a k is 1. That's amazing. So here I can write 2 multiplied by 1. Wow, okay. Similarly, can I do similar thing with this? Yes, see cos a is 1 by sec a. So if I bring sec a to the other side, cos a into sec a is 1. Wow. So in this one step, we have applied a lot of formula. Make sure you write them down. Okay, so, so 2 into 1 is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, 4 plus 1 is 5. So can I directly write here 5? Yes, and let me just copy down cos x square a plus sec square a. Okay, friends, now again check what I want is 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. So it's a good improvement because I've got the same number of terms, right? Now all I have to do is bring tan square and cot square. So how can we do that? Now just have a look again at the identities. Yes, did you see here cos x square a is 1 plus cot square a. So here I can write cos x square a is 1 plus cot square a and sec square a. What is it? Yes, 1 plus tan square a. Wow, that's great. Make sure you write the reason over here. Now 5 plus 1 plus 1 which is 7 and I think yes we have got the 
RHS, which is great. So, we've got 7 plus tan square A plus cot square A, which is equal to the right hand side. So friends, this is how you need to solve this question. I hope you found this helpful. If so, please do like and share the video. Consider subscribing to enjoy math and please let me know your questions, your uh, doubts, any feedback in the comment section below. So till we meet again, take care.